This is a Fox News alert. The Obamacare website is 100% not secure. Your personal information can get hacked. Healthcare.gov has gotten worse. And nothing's really changed since the November 19th testimony. In fact, from our November 19th testimony, it's even worse. Remember this from last November? Well, cybersecurity experts warning Congress the Obamacare website poses a great security risk. Do any of you today think today that the site is secure? No. 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 And then today, the experts back in front of that same House committee. So what do they have to say about healthcare.gov now? Any improvement? Healthcare.gov is not secure today. And nothing's really changed since the November 19th testimony. In fact, from our November 19th testimony, it's even worse. I don't understand how we're still discussing whether or not the website is insecure or not. It is. There's no question about that. It is insecure. It, it is insecure, absolutely, 100%. And cybersecurity expert David Kennedy joins us. I don't know whether to ask you that the 100% insecure or that it's even got worse. I don't know which is a more appalling uh, statement. So let me first start with 100% uh, insecure. No question about it? No question. In fact, uh, I was worried this last time when I went around when I did my testimony that uh, it was just going to be me coming out as a security researcher. So what I did is I actually engaged multiple other security researchers that are really well known in the security industry to look at this. And they all came back and said, this is not good, it's bad, and it's 100% it's you know, bad. And this is the type of things that we see for security breaches. So as of right now, 100% really bad. All right, you say it's gotten even worse. How could it get worse from November? Well, what happened is, you know, we had the October 1st deadline, which, which they rolled it out, and the website itself was, was really bad and unstable, everything else. And so what they did is they, they jammed a whole bunch of servers in there. They had a whole bunch of guys, you know, at the behind the keyboards programming really fast to keep the site up and stable. And so what they did is they introduced new code, new vulnerabilities, new exposures, and other security researchers also started looking at this website and found a whole slew of additional um, issues that are, are with the website. So, you know, it's just, it's just bad all around. It continues to get worse. All right, well, what's sort of interesting today is that Waylon Crush, who was there, who, he was the one who at least sort of seemed like the most, uh, that he thought there'd been improvement. But then the interesting thing, if you go to his Twitter account, which is the most extraordinary thing, he said, world World's greatest hacker calls healthcare.gov security shameful. That's what he tweets. I know it was interesting. Um, Waylon had, a, had an interesting uh, swag about I got him, I guess. Uh, but he, you know, he was very much on the side of you know we don't know enough information about it. And for me personally, I've done this for 14 years. I did it for the NSA. I did it for the United States Marine Corps. I've done it in the private sector. You know, when you see something like this and you see the systemic issues, there's a much larger problem on the inside, and it's something it's something that we really need to look at and address. It's bad. All right. So uh, uh, personal information includes financial. Well, there's, there's portions of that. So um, they're adding the credit card functionality soon. But uh, right now, it's, it's personal information. It's your first name, last name, email address, social security number, as well as the integration into the IRS and DHS, which contains all of your tax information, all of your financial information, as well as whatever DHS has on you. Um, so basically, your whole online profile can be accessed through this, what they call the data hub. All right, and uh, your health information. Yeah, uh, well, health information isn't actually on the website, but it integrates into the other state exchanges. So like the California State Exchange, the New York State Exchange. Um, so they have integration pieces into those. So this is kind of the central point, the focal point. You know, as an attacker, I would go after this, compromise this, hack this, and from there I have access into all the different agencies, all the different government entities at a state level and both federal. All right, you say it's 100 percent, so it doesn't seem like it get much worse, but I'm, let me sort of ask you a sort of hybrid of it. Uh, how easy is it to hack into it? Well, I mean, these, these types of attacks that we're seeing, the things that, that the vulnerabilities that we identified and exposed are very very rudimentary basic hacks. It's not like it would take somebody extremely sophisticated to break into this site. So this site. is really bad. It's really bad. Right. And the problem is they don't have to disclose it. There's no federal law saying that you have to disclose it um, of any personal information being leaked, except for the, uh, the House passed that bill um, last Friday to disclose it in a 48-hour period, but it's probably not going to make it to the Senate. In your wildest dreams, would you ever sign up on healthcare.gov? Absolutely not. And, and I'd be extremely terrified if I had family members that were doing it as well. Um, all right. Uh, David, thank you very much. Thanks, Greta. And security experts sounded the alarm bell months ago, as you know, but so why hasn't this been fixed? Joining us is Senator Ted Cruz. Senator, you just heard what David had to say. He said 100 percent, and it's even easy to hack. Uh, that was very disturbing, and equally disturbing is the fact that, that Washington Democrats are doing nothing about it. Uh, you know, four years ago when, when Obamacare was being debated, possibly reasonable minds could have differed. Maybe some people thought this thing might work, it might be secure. At this point, it is a disaster. You've got over 4.7 million people who've lost their health insurance plans already. Senate Democrats, Harry Reid, what are they doing about it? Absolutely nothing. You've got premiums skyrocketing across the country, especially young people. Young people are getting killed by this. 
Senate Democrats, Harry Reid, what are they doing? Absolutely nothing. These security issues, which obviously opens the door to identity theft and, and all sorts of personal intrusions, what are Senate Democrats doing? Absolutely nothing. Well, what's even more disturbing, though, is that David said it's gotten worse yeah. since November when they all said it was horrible. He says that he wouldn't sign up mm -hmm. and is 100 percent insecure. I mean, what in the world? I mean, you know, I mean, it must be stunning to, to Democrats, Republicans, everybody. You know, the definition of pragmatism is, is looking at the facts, looking at what's actually happening, and then responding to them. Uh, the definition of irresponsibility is sticking your head in the sand and ignoring the facts. And what Senate Democrats are doing, so today on the floor of the Senate, I try to call up two amendments to respond to the disaster that is Obamacare. And Senate Democrats blocked it. They don't want to do anything. We went state by state. I, I went through the numbers of the state in Nevada, in North Carolina, in Arkansas, in Louisiana, of all the people who've had their insurance canceled, all the people whose premiums are skyrocketing. And the answer from Senate Democrats is we're going to do nothing. At this point, it's the height of pragmatism to acknowledge this thing isn't working, we need to start well, over. What about the Republicans? What are your colleagues saying? Because I know there's been a lot of pushback uh, on you with this uh, defunding of Obamacare. I mean, it, there's no secret that uh, you've been at uh, loggerheads with some of your Republican colleagues. What are the Republicans saying to you? Well, look, the fact that millions of Americans rose up last year in the fight to defund Obamacare, the fact that we stood up and fought, I, I think the proof's in the pudding. Right now, Barack Obama is at the lowest approval rating he's ever been. Right now, Obamacare is at its lowest approval rating it's ever been. Right now, Obamacare is plummeting in popularity with young people. It's plummeting in popularity with Hispanics. It's plummeting in popularity with independents. It's even plummeting among Democrats because the facts are undeniable it isn't working. But so why are you sort of the odd man out? I mean, if, if that's true, I mean, if everybody sort of look at the numbers, I mean, I can understand the Democrats because you're a opposing party, but why are the Republicans not uh, you know, uh, circling the wagons around you? Well, look, Washington is a town that doesn't like change. And, and, and I don't think anyone should be surprised. If you're trying to change the Washington establishment, they're going to fight back. I mean, that, that certainly wasn't a surprise to me. And, and it shouldn't be a surprise to the American people is that elected officials don't like being held accountable. But, but right now, there's one simple fact that's undeniable. The people blocking any relief for the millions of people being hurt by Obamacare are Harry Reid and the Senate Democrats. And they're simply ignoring the people. They're not listening. They have no solution, no answer other than tough luck. Well, there's several, several issues. Whether you're going to get medical care, whether you get to keep your insurance, um, whether the website is working or not, and whether or not the information yeah. put on it is secure or not. This is, I mean, the news today, which is, I mean, 100% insecure is, I mean, it wasn't 99 or 95 or 97, it's 100% and gotten worse is, and it wasn't just David, there were other experts there. No, th that's exactly right. And you know what? You don't see those hearings in the Senate. The Senate Democrats are not even inquiring about issues like security. The House is, but the Senate Democrats... What, what, is this Senator Harry Reid? Does not mean? Is this a totally it, a political calculation? It, it is pure partisan politics. Harry Reid cracks the whip, and, and every Democrat, they're like lemmings off a cliff, where they're telling... Look, I don't know. I, I can't imagine what it's like for the Democrats when they go home. You take California bright blue California, 1.1 million people in California have had their insurance canceled because of Obamacare, and yet California senators are doing nothing about it. And their response, it's all partisan politics. The responsible thing to do is listen well, to the people uh, who are being hurt and do something about it. Well, well if there's going to be a price increase, that's going to come after the 2014 election. Well, but a lot of people have had price increases already. But I mean, the one that if, if enough young people don't pay in, mm -hmm. that means the price increases are going to be dramatically higher come next year than we expected. And, and, and you know, the politicians have conveniently put that after the election so that if people, if people object to it, um, you know, they can't respond to it. But, uh, well, anyway. more price increases are coming, but a lot of people, a 27-year-old man in Texas in the individual market, his premiums have gone up roughly 70 percent. That's real and that's happening now and it's happening all over the country. New York Times, front page of the New York Times, talks about how the middle class is getting hammered by Obamacare because premiums are going up. And on top of that, you have people losing their coverage, losing their doctors. This thing isn't working. Senator, stay with us. We have more to talk to you about. Uh, and you can hash it out with us. Would you trust healthcare.gov not to expose your personal health and financial information or not? Tweet or post on Facebook right now using hashtag Greta.
And straight ahead, what do handcuffs have to do with Obamacare? Well, apparently quite a bit. Wait until you hear who HHS is putting to work as Obamacare navigators, and we suspect you won't like this one. But next, a 